Hi, this is Aaron here. Um, I'm just going to show you an application I found called Zootropic or Zootropic. And it's a, an application that you can take still images and then add motion to them to bring them to life. So I'm after using it for some astrophotography images with great results. I've, I've been using uh, Photoshop and After Effects trying to create similar type results and uh, with hours and hours of effort involved trying to get it get it to work and and still not achieving anywhere near what this can do now, the, the only problem with it is because it's an app and it's uh, really built for mobiles it's the the resolution of the final images aren't great but still i think it creates an amazing result so hopefully they come out with a windows version at some stage if they did i'd definitely buy it so uh, so I'll just bring it into the app just to show you how it works. So it's fairly straightforward. At the bottom of the screen here, you just click tap to get started. Uh, choose an image from your gallery. So gallery. I'm going to choose uh, a picture of Andromeda. Um, just leave the... Or give it a name, I'm just going to leave it as the default. And then you'll see then you're, you're left with a toolbar at the bottom of the screen. So it's fairly straightforward. There's a good few options here. I don't really use all of the options. All that I've been using so far is motion, uh, either stabilize or mask. So the, the idea of it is that you mask off the areas that you don't want to move and then you set motion for the areas that you do want to move. So the, the stabilize option is also similar to mask. If you just put dots around the screen, it, it tells those parts not to move. But I just found the, the mask option to be much quicker for, for what I'm using it for. So so just very quickly, I'll dive in. I'll fly, fly through actually processing the image um and it'll be very rough so it, it's it's definitely not going to be polished at the end but it's just to give you an idea of how it works so i just select the the motion option at the bottom of the screen the toolbar and then when you actually drag on the screen you can put in arrows so you can see i can put in a really long arrow and that will create a lot of motion so if i click play it significantly moves that part so I think the idea for me anyway is uh, when I was using the big arrows, it creates too much motion. It looks fake. So what, what you're actually looking to do is create very small arrows all the way around the object. And it gives a kind of a, a more natural look. So uh, you also have at the top of the screen, you have undo and redo buttons. So it's going to undo and start again. So zoom in to where we want to be. And then it's going to start putting small arrows all around the the dust lines so very roughly like I would have spent a, a good bit of time on this to, to get them exactly where I wanted them and a good bit of time masking it as well so uh, this is just purely for demonstration purposes Okay, and then we zoom in, we have kind of a few little wispy bits here. Just get them coming in as well. And then I think that's all right for the arrows for now. So the next option that I'm going to choose is the, the mask. Actually, just before I do, so I'm going to click play just to show you what that actually does. So you can see it's spinning, but it kind of gives you a blurry effect because the rest of the object hasn't been masked yet. So if I zoom back in and then choose mask at the bottom of the screen. So you can see it gives you this little red dot and then you can adjust that up and down by the size slider bar at the bottom. So I'm just going to make it about that size there. And then I'm going to just drag in. It gives you a nice little preview window as well to see where you're actually painting. 
and it's handy for uh, when you can't see where your finger is so I think ideally you should really use a stylus for this I'm gonna see if I can get a stylus for myself to, for kind of doing this a bit more accurately so I'm just gonna paint this bit in here now brush so I'm just after going over some of my lines there so it's not going to look great but again it's just to give you an idea so that will do there and then I'm just going to drop a big dot in the middle to protect the core. I'll undo that about there. That's okay. And then I'm going to make a really big brush and just paint all out the outside. Very, very quick. It's actually amazing how quick this tool is. Like, I'd spent hours and hours on. Photoshop trying to achieve the same thing and it's quite poor performance wise as well So look we're not going to win any awards for this but I just want to get that corner piece there So that that should be it. So I'm just going to hit the play button And you can see the effect already so so if you spend a bit of time on it and you went around masking everything out probably so you can see here at the top of the the galaxy you can see stars and stuff that are trailing uh, and and uh, ideally what you want to do so actually if i zoom in here drop my brush size down and then if i just click on that click on this one this be a bit bigger for that one and then the stars here so I'll drop it down now you can just go around and spend your time masking out these different bits and then hit play again see how it looks i think that looks pretty decent for such a a rush job so that's that's it i think it's a fantastic application um if you have any questions drop me a message uh, otherwise best best of luck